My name is Chad Robertson. Uh, I'm the co-founder and CEO at Reginize. Oh, at Reginize, we're a recycling technology company who's on a mission to create a recycling culture. My name is uh, Ngazi Miti. I am the co-founder at Reginize, co-founder and COO. So how it works is you recycle. So as a household, we'd come and collect your recyclables. We'd weigh them and based on the weight of your recyclables, you'd earn what we call Rimali. So you get 100 Rimali for each kilogram of recyclables, which you can then use on our voucher platform to buy various vouchers from airtime, data, um, grocery vouchers, electronics and some clothing vouchers as well. So the motivation when we got started um, it was purely out of the love for innovation. Um, myself and my business partner, we both studied at UWC and we studied information systems. And during our honours, we encountered a topic called 3D printing. We were doing research on the plastic waste concern and through that journey, we found out that, wait a minute, actually in South Africa, at the time it was like 3% of, of South Africans recycling. And yeah, we just thought, you know what? Let's forget about 3D printing. It's actually a huge problem that's facing us in our own backyard. Uh, we looked at the context and the, the scenario in South Africa. So we have a lot of recycling companies, we have recyclables, we have infrastructure, but we looked at where is actually the source of the waste that, that we're generating coming from. And that's going to the landfill. And that was coming from the residential side. Um, we know that 90% of South African waste lands up in landfills. Um, and only 10% can be recycled, recycled. And we thought, you know, why aren't people looking at the resident side? Everyone's looking at corporates, um, office blocks, and tenders. And we thought that could be our gateway into this, um, to solving this problem. So we realized that with people, you have to somewhat change behavior because currently 5% um, of South Africans are recycling. So how do you get the 95% to begin? And we looked at how can we use people's needs and wants and link it to recycling because we want them to recycle but they don't really need it. Partners for us are so important because what happens is we can't perform um, our offering without those partners. For example, Petco and where we are heading in the future. Petco has an array of partners in different industries and plastic bags for example. Something as simple as a plastic bag helps convince someone that actually you don't have to go and buy plastic bags we actually give you for free, sponsored by our partner Petco. Knowing that you are making a difference, whether it's in carbon emissions or climate change or percentage of diversion from landfill, I think I love the fact that we are contributing and making a change and some, bringing also something new to South Africa. Recycling, getting South Africa to recycle in general, I think that's what motivates me every single day. In the future, we'd like to be um, the ultimate residential um, recyc recycler or, or, or company that is recognized for innovation in residential recycling. And I think partners like Petco could really um, help us. We want to develop a, a, a solution that people really want to use. So if we can just develop and convince people as well that your bin is actually full of money and you could use it um, on various things. Uh, you could be using it on projects to help other people. So for the crowdfunding, for example, you know, if people want to have a story, they need money, put it on, on our platform and people can use it in Mali to sponsor you. So, yeah, I think the future is making this a currency based on recycling and earned through recycling.